Hello and welcome into another video. It's another food video I'm afraid. This one is Christmas dinner pot noodle. Now with Christmas just four or five days away, yeah, the cost of living is skyrocketing. This is an alternative if you can't afford Christmas dinner. So I was out and about in Asda Hunt Cross and I seen a pack of three and that one was in it. And I just grabbed it because I thought Christmas dinner pot noodle, happy days, what could go wrong? But on closer inspection, uh, it's not Christmas dinner flavour, it is gravy and stuffing flavour. So it's a bit of a swizz. Uh, Merry Pot Noel on the front, there's Santa's belt. Um, yeah, new limited edition, although I'm pretty sure I've had one of these in the past. So it says, uh, oh come all ye flavours, rosemary, sage and peas, Pot Noel, Christmas as it should be, newly. Now, I'm not going to go into what's inside it because it's full of crap, as we all know. Um, and it does say actually on it, uh, so it's vegan friendly as well. Let's get that in focus. Um, what else did I see? I just noticed something on it that was all before. Oh, it said it stirred it up by adding a teaspoon of cranberry sauce. So, yeah, and there's the top there. Santa's big fat head. So yeah, Pot Noel Christmas dinner, gravy and stuff and flavour pot noodle. So yeah, so what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to dive into the kitchen. I'm going to see what this is all about. Right, okay, let's get on with the, uh, well, I wouldn't call it an unboxing, right, but peel the lid off, see what we've got inside. Now, we have zero sachet, hence why it probably says, with a teaspoon of cranberry sauce. I'm just going to give it a sniff. Yeah, it does smell very sagey. You can just see there possibly little bits of sage. Little stuff and mix. Yeah, so all the flavour is all gonna be added in all that. So there's no sachet, like you normally get a little sachet of curry sauce or soy sauce. I mean to be honest with you, they're telling you, you know, to add things, well add cranberry sauce to it. Why not just put a cranberry sauce sachet in? Simple, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to get the kettle on and we're going to see what this is all about. Righty ho, here we are, a nice hot steamy Christmas dinner, apparently, pot noodle. Now on first inspection it looks like a chicken and mushroom one. Smells very, very, very sage and onion -y. Yeah. Right, well there it goes. Decided not to sit down because it was stand up video. There we go. In all its glory. Christmas dinner on a budget in a pot. Slight taste of sage and onion. Yeah, you get like a millisecond of a of a hit of sage, and it just goes just bland. Yeah, there's no real taste to it. I'm gonna be honest. Jag stuff. Oh, cheers. Cheers, cats. Right now, where was I? I'm hoping there's going to be more flavour down the bottom. It's a little bit of a stir. 
This has been sitting for a while, like so. Smell. Sorry about the slips. I think in all honesty, this is a little bit of a fail. I think they're just trying to cash in on Christmas, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I know it's not Christmas dinner flavour, but yeah, big, massive Christmas dinner, and then underneath there's the small print. That's what got me. There's a couple of, a couple of carrots, is that? You can see it there? Don't like the down to the bottom now. I'm going to have to abandon the fork, I think. Drink it. Yeah, it tastes just like chicken and mushroom one. No different really, just a little, little tiny bit of little kick of sage and that's it, gone. Nothing else after it. The best part of any pot noodle is, of course, the end. Now, with any pot noodle as well, if you cook it for the three minutes, I'm gone, sorry. Do what you do for the three minutes, and it all sort of gets loose and, you know, stare it around. Throw it in the microwave for about two minutes. It goes really creamy. The curry one is absolutely nice when you do that. I haven't done it with this one, but I've just left it to cook on its own merit for like six minutes and it's it's gone sort of like, you know, a little bit stodgy like. Bye bye fork. Quick wipe. That's the best part of any pot noodle. Slight, a slight gravy taste. Well, I think what you should have done, Golden Wonder, is actually give people a sachet of cranberry sauce rather than say add your own, because that's a bit poor in my opinion. Oh, cheers. Quick wipe and some of the jar stuff. Right, so in terms of taste, it's quite bland if I'm going to be honest with you. There's, there's virtually no taste to it. Um, let me just see exactly what is in it. So noodles in a turkey gravy and stuffing flavour sauce. Me. Dried noodles, sorry, 72%. So it's got sage, parsley, rosemary, Potato starch, so it has got some sort of Christmas flavour, and you know the rest of it's just made up of crap, basically. So you just see here: um, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, wheat flour flavouring, onion powder, palm fat. Um, it has got herbs in it, apparently. Um, carrots, peas, salt, spices, 
turmeric and pepper. So may contain other cereals uh, containing gluten, celery, egg, milk, mustard and soy. So it's packed with, with flavour but I mean smell like that now. Smell very sage and oniony. And that's all really there is to say about it. It's it's a gimmick basically. It's not so you put that on there so you grab it and go, you get on and you go, what? Gradient stuff and flavour. But yeah, that's what got me. I've seen that, I thought, you know what, sorry. I haven't done a food video for a while, so I might as well do one. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, because you've got to buy them, I think, you've got to buy them in a pack of three. I tried searching for these everywhere else, just single, but I couldn't find them. So in Asda, as I say, they were in a pack of three. So yeah, I think I paid £4 for them, it wasn't £3 actually. So yeah, so that's it for that one. So in terms of the channel and what's coming up next, um, I might try and get an explore in before Christmas or the new year. I don't know, it's just, it's a lot of hard work. I mean, I've got two channels. I've got this one, I've got the one where I do the, the retro game and stuff like that, plus a full-time job, plus all these cats that you're gonna see in a minute. Um, it's hard work, so I've sort of like, I haven't sort of slowed things down. I've just sort of took a step back and thought, well, I was I was I was hammering it all the time. I thought, well, do you know what? It's it's taken a lot of time to do it and stuff like that, as well as fitting everything else in between. And so it does tire you out. But New Year, there's going to be quite a lot planned. Got loads of stuff. Me and Eric planned um, stuff unseen Liverpool as per usual. I try and sort of do things that haven't been done before or seen before, and have my own little wacky ideas and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Loads of stuff coming. And also what I've done now is I've added a buy me a coffee link in the description. Basically it's just to show your appreciation. If you like the video, go on there and you don't have to, it's, there's no obligation at all. If you appreciate the video, buy me a coffee, all money goes into back into the channel. So I've had three donations this month and I'd like to thank the following people. So the first one is Chris Code. Thank you for your donation mate, very much appreciated. Second one is Michael Joseph. Also, thank you very much for your donation, very much appreciated. And Andy P, who I personally know myself, um, a very generous donation from him as well. So thanks to those three people who donated this month to the channel. That money will be going on coffees and obviously, you know, back into the channel. So yeah, thanks a lot for that, guys and gals. I think, no, they're all guys, yeah. So um, yeah, if I don't see us, uh, have a good Christmas and I'll catch up with you all in the new year. With goodbye from Nala Puss. It's goodbye from the Yeti, that is Binksy Pushcat. Hey. It's goodbye from the newest edition, Nala Puss. And it's goodbye from my little Baba Grey Puss. And it's goodbye from Winnie Puss. And it's goodbye from Noxy Puss.